All right, welcome back, Grade Four. Today we're adding another level to our game making. Um, this is pretty. A lot of games have gravity involved. Okay, think of like Flappy Bird or something like that, where you're falling, or if you want to be jumping off of like platform jumping, where you're going from one level to another level, and you're if you can fall into like a pit or something like that. We need to have gravity. Okay, gravity is one of those things that which a lot of games use to, um, you know, make you die. It sounds horrible, but you know. Um, so when the flag is clicked, again, I like to start my games like that. That starts the game to me. And I'm gonna go control forever. Gravity is not a sometimes thing. It's a forever thing. It's always there when the game is on. Gravity's always there. Now you have to know in order to do this the x y coordinates. Okay, you'll notice these numbers down here. Okay, X and Y. And Scratch right now, he's about, he's in the middle. He's about zero, zero. The center of your stage is zero X, zero Y. Okay, roughly. I know it's not zero, zero. It's a negative. Watch this number here. Okay, these numbers when I'm in the middle here with Scratch, the numbers change with my, with my mouse pointer. And it's a, it's a negative 8, 13 right now is where I am, but that's fine. It's close to zero, close to zero. If I drag scratch this way, what happens to the x value? It's getting higher, right? It goes actually all the way up to 240 is the maximum. Great. What happens if I drag them this way? Wow, it's getting lower. It's getting all the way down to negative 240. What about y? Let's get back to about zero here. Where's zero? There we go, zero x. Okay, now let's go up. Look how Y goes up when I go up. Okay, so Y is the up down. And obviously we go down, Y goes really low, negative 180, oh my goodness. So Y goes up and down, X goes left and right. So gravity, if we wanna have gravity, we actually want Y to be getting lower for him to be falling. Okay, so as Scratch falls, gravity's getting lower and lower and lower. The or Y number, I guess, is what I'm trying to say, is getting lower, lower, lower. So for gravity to take effect, what I have to do is when the flag is clicked and the game starts, forever, we're going to ch change Y by a number, because we know gravity is up and down. Well, gravity is down, so we want to go negative. And negative 1 is about the right amount of speed. Let's try this out. Look at that. I hit the flag, and scratch starts falling. Stop! Okay, good. Grab him back up here. Let's try again. Okay, so I can make gravity a little faster. I go negative 5 if I want, which is going to be crazy fast. Oof. But I like negative 1, negative 2, one of those two. Uh, you need to do a negative 1 point. Oh, negative. Whoop, 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 whoop. What am I doing? Negative 1.5 is fine too. You can use decimals if you like. Great. I have gravity. Now, Earlier on we did a uh, control for moving around. Well, what if I add a Flappy Bird style control here? If I hit something, remember that? Space bar, let's use space bar maybe. We could hit up, we could hit the letter P if I want, it doesn't matter. But if I hit something then, well, let's go back to our motion. And now Gravity is going down by 1.5 for every time it loops. And it loops very fast. It goes down 1.5 and loops back up 1.5, 1.5, 1.5. Um, so let's make this. We want to, if I hit the space bar, I want it to go up. It's going to go up much faster than it's going down. If I put it up by 1.5, it's going to be the same. It's going to be just nothing, right? It goes down 1.5, up 1.5 equals 0. But instead, let's go up by 7. I don't know. Let's try that. Let me hit this and spacebar. Hey, look at that. That's kind of, uh, I don't know if you can hear me hitting the spacebar, but that's a good little pace there. Okay. So now that's the start of a whole bunch of different type of games. You can have control of your sprite moving left and right. Uh, trying to land on things, trying to get around things, trying to avoid obstacles. You could just have the background move. That's a trickier thing. I'll show you that another time. And that's going to lead you to like a Flappy Bird type thing where you're avoiding the background. You just want to try to stay in the middle. But this is our basic. Gravity is here, changing Y by a negative number all the time, forever, 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 forever. And then if I press the space in this case, we could say up. If I press this, then change Y by a positive number. 
that makes them go up on the y-axis forever 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 so anytime i press the space bar he goes up okay so this is just a starter you can figure it out you may want to add uh, our left and right controls here you may want to move add a background you may want to do other things i'll leave that up to you but i want to show you this piece go try it out